Thank you, my guy. Jim Allister's uh, second stage of a special advisors bill was in front of the assembly this week, and um, there are serious concerns about the quality impact of this. Well, quite clearly, this piece of legislation uh, is aimed towards Republican uh, ex-prisoners. It is discriminatory. Uh, it is totally against the ethos uh, and the writing of the Good Friday Agreement. Uh, and it's something that we are going to oppose uh, through uh, the Assembly. Uh, Jim Allister uh, is contradicting and has contradicted uh, his own position on this bill. Uh, he has stated quite clearly uh, that ex-prisoners should be barred uh, from positions uh, such as those uh, of special advisors uh, in the Assembly. Uh, but he had no qualms uh, whatsoever uh, with the uh, appointment uh, of uh, ex-loyalist prisoners uh, to positions within the DUP uh, in 2004 when he was a leading member uh, in North Antrim. Similarly, it has to be said, the DUP had no issue uh, with appointing such ex-prisoners uh, and neither did the Ulster Unionists uh, have any problem in approaching uh, David Irvine, uh, an ex-prisoner who was sentenced uh, to 11 years uh, whenever they found it uh, politically beneficial to do so in the Assembly. You know, so there's a lot of contradictions uh, from the Unionist parties uh, on this particular issue uh, and that is something we'll be challenging uh, in the months ahead. Okay, uh, some parties uh, obviously see this as political opportunism, certainly from the unionist benches. Um, can you tell us a bit more about that? Well, uh, I certainly think that uh, all the political parties in the Assembly uh, have uh, contradicted themselves, uh, especially when you look at the SDLP, uh, a party that uh, models itself uh, as defenders of the Good Friday Agreement. This runs totally contrary uh, to the Good Friday Agreement statement in regard to uh, political prisoners. Uh, it will discriminate, discriminate against ex uh, political prisoners. Uh, and, and whilst the bill itself refers only to special advisors, uh, this sets a precedent uh, in regard to all our positions of responsibility, not only in terms of politics but across wider society. Uh, and the SDLP should reflect on that. And I think what they will reflect on now uh, is a rising uh, amount of discontent uh, within their own support support base in places like Derry and Belfast uh, uh, and the questions uh, that are being raised uh, as to why they've taken this position and why they followed uh, Jim Allister into the voting booth. Uh,